Hello, it's me, Nerd in the Corner, and I'm gonna make another tutorial today. I got some new software, always excited about that. Now it should look a little more clean. So let's get started. Now we're going to be um, making a short video with Live Movie Maker from Windows, and it's free for any Windows. You can just download it from the website. The link will be in the description, and I'll be showing you how to do that. Once you download, we'll be making a very short movie, and it should be all set. So, let's get started. So, like I said earlier, the link will be in the description, and this is what I'm going to right now. Now, this is going to download multiple files, programs, and one of them's Movie Maker, obviously. So, once you have that downloaded, you're going to have to right-click and open it and you know it might not download as quickly as it did for me but you're gonna click open the once you open it it'll start installing and it's very simple to install you know I don't I don't feel like I need to go through that but then you're gonna go to start menu and type in Windows and this will open Movie Maker I already have Movie Maker open so that's why I clicked that now you're gonna click right there and this is gonna bring up the option of what movie you want to edit. So you're going to find where your movie is. Now I'm trying to find a clip here and I ended up figuring out that I'll just do um, my first video I uploaded and just edit that one. So then you hit open and this uploads the video. Now you'll notice that there's kind of like a film timeline. It seems like a film reel and that's your timeline. That's how long your video is if you want to edit it or anything you can just click where you want to move the little cursor thing the little line you'll notice now you also notice on the, there's a preview window now this window is going to show you the movie preview so if you were to start editing it how it will change so we're going to say that we want to cut this window at two minutes so let's find where it says two minutes by dragging that, and we're gonna hit the splice tool. Now that cuts the frame. Now you can delete that, and our video is now shortened. And it will stop. And you notice the time is different, the max time, because we essentially had cut the tape of the video. But now you notice that the film kind of cuts off, and it's very abrupt. So I don't like it. So volume wise this is what we're editing right now the volume that we're gonna hit the fade out tool and that's gonna make it so when the volume kinda goes out it's not all abrupt it slowly ends it versus all abrupt and that's the end of the video now at the start of the video you don't want your voice just started so I changed that too now to make an animation you click the animation tab then you put your cursor where you want it and put it in so you see now when you start the video it's going to kind of turn like a page you know so it's just some cool things you can do with editor and it's real basic it's kind of limited to what it can do because it's the free and you know it but it is still you can basically base short short in a film if you want to if it's too long for youtube and it'll render the video and like I said, it's all 100% free, so it is limited to what it can do. It's obviously not the best video editor, but it'll get the job done pretty quickly. So, if we want to add music, we go back to the file button and hit add music. You know, I, I decide on Blackbird from the Beatles. Now you'll see the little green thing above the timeline, um, or the film reel. That's the song. You know, so if you want to edit the song, and I'll kind of do like the thing, same thing we did earlier where you want to make sure so it's going to fade in slowly and fade out slowly. So, you know, so that way the Blackbird isn't going to just randomly start and randomly end. It kind of slowly starts and slowly joins. So, the next step is in case you want to make it to, um, to go on the internet or something, you're going to want to render it or save so you want to hit the save movie button 
and go down and I would recommend HD version unless there's a specific thing you want to do yeah I mess up right there I clicked the wrong one but it's the same basic thing so high resolution definitely unless there's a specific thing like you have too much space or you have not enough space so since I don't really want this movie I click that and you know just click where you want it click save now this takes a long time it's usually about a mi five minutes to a minute so if your video is two minutes long it'll take ten minutes to render and that's about it you know I hope you liked it I hope you learned some good stuff and as always rate and subscribe thumbs up if it helped leave a comment from what the next video should be and um, peace out